wanted to have a threesome. First, three became two. We took it to the next level and became a couple. Then she two-timed him. He doesn't need to be dealing with you sleeping with somebody up in the mail room. Oh, bad girls you love to hate. Today on Judge Joe Brown. A couple starts as part of a threesome and ends over cheating. Taxi driver Ronaldo Barada is suing his ex-girlfriend for property damage and rent. Defendant Aileen Vasquez is countersuing for attorney's fees and a stolen check. Now, here's Judge Joe Brown. Mr. Barada, it would appear that you are claiming that the defendant, Ms. Vasquez, is delinquent on certain, well, rentals, is it? And also for some damage to a rental property. Ma'am, you say you don't owe the plaintiff anything, and you also say that uh, he's liable to you for having you arrested and for converting your IRS stimulus check. Mr. Brada, would you please tell me your case? Okay, I met the uh, Aileen Vasquez off of a friend when we were you used having to hang out in the same building. Yes. We used, to, we used to be in the same building. I never knew the defendant had a crush on me. Never knew anything about that until I met a friend uh, that I knew. And um, we used to go out, all three of us, having a good time, until one day they wanted to have a threesome with me. So I agree. Um, menage a trois. So I agree. Right, now, sit down. Nobody called you up here. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm... I just really don't agree with what Well, you saying. don't know. You weren't there, apparently. Uh, he wasn't there. I don't even know who this guy is. He's not even involved it's in anything. It's a new boyfriend. That He's may be fiance. the father of the child that you're talking about mm -hmm. here. So we don't know. We'll get there. But like I said, um, the, yeah. other, the other female, me and her were getting a little too serious. And she didn't even want to be involved with me because she didn't want to hurt this girl. So um, she decided to move away. So um, at that time, I was by myself. You know, struggling, doing what I had to do, and she, uh, Aileen and I were, were seeing each other every day. So um, we took it to the next level and became a couple. Um, then we decided to move in with each other. So when we moved in with each other... We both signed a lease that was May 1st of Art 7. Yes. And the lease was supposed to run through April 31st of the year current. Yes. $915 a month rent. Was that for each of you or total? Uh, it's 915 total. All right. So uh, we moved in. Everything seemed to be jolly um, until uh, we moved downstairs and got a new lease. That's in the same building. In the same building. So we were, we were together and uh, everything was all right. Everything was peachy, according but... to me. Until I started to see signs of um, phone calls on, the, on bills with uh, people from her job, um, stories about her being with guys in her job, like your man from the mailroom, Ty, whatever his name is. Um, we don't even work so together. You accused her of an infidelity. About? Oh, yes, definitely. Even with a, a gentleman named Jesse in her job, I, caught, I, I found out everything. She cheated on me with him. That's not true. Okay. Um, so when I found out everything, I couldn't be with her no more. I knew it for a fact that she's just a liar and she just wanted to do what she wanted to do. Uh -huh. So, um... Then why'd you have a baby with her? Uh, it may be yours. I didn't want the we baby, man. Be quiet. Okay. Been I didn't no... want the baby. So Hold why are you taking on. me There's to family no court now trying to say you want him? Why you claim uh, you want him so me. bad now? Uh, excuse because me. Because you don't let me well, see excuse him. Excuse me. Because, oh, no, we... I thought he wasn't yours. We will have order in here. And, young man, if you can't restrain yourself, I'll have you removed. By the way... Since there has not been, I would strongly suggest it for this 18-month-old male child, you have a DNA test done. He knows that baby is his, you He know. doesn't know. He knows it for a he fact. Doesn't he doesn't know. He is full of what you, you don't even really disagree with his proposition so much I'm as to the sure running that baby around. Is his. You no, know, you, it's I've like this. You lay down him. in a bed of st Fire. thorns and roll I've over. Not. It's awful hard to say which one stuck you, you know? <laughs> Judge Joe Brown. You've given me a copy of the lease. Yes, the copy's here. Um, and now we haven't got quite there yet. Hold you. I'm going to have you pass all of that up in a minute. Now, okay, let me ask some specific questions here. Now, you say you had some difficulties with her because of her perceived infidelities. Now, at that point, you say she moved to her mother's house. Correct. 
didn't want to have too much to be bothered with you. Now, there was this point where you say you two needed to meet and discuss the past due rentals and bills. Now, to get to the vandalism or the malicious mischief, from your complaint, sir, it would appear that you advised her that you didn't want her to come there unless you were present. Exactly, but the locks were never changed. I never threw her out. The locks no. are still the same as the, at this time as we now, speak. Now, is it or is it not a fact that she did go to that apartment when you weren't there? That's a fact. Now, how long had it been since she'd moved out? Um, it was a couple of months. Two that, weeks. Um, it was about two, two months weeks. she stood away, and that was cool. We were seeing each other. We were, I would see the baby with her. He was there I would on my By this money. time, the child had been born. Is that right? Correct. I left him three days later. Now, hold after on. The baby you was get born. your chance. I can't he hear me. you. I two you two aren't harmonizing out. anyway, so you were sleeping why with don't somebody you else? Yeah. And I have proof. Mm -hmm. Have you finished school yet? Forgive me, Your Honor. No. Yes, I have. Well, I take it that you do know what it means when I say, would you hold that point and wait until your turn? They I still apologize. do that. They do that at school, don't they? Mm -hmm. Wait your turn? All right, it's not your turn yet. All right, hold on. Now, you're saying in your complaint that she broke the door um, and she did other brother. damage inside. You say she went through and ransacked the place yes, and, and she found some pictures of you and a, another young woman on a camera. Yes, but we already separated. You say that uh, she breached the lease of which she is a signatory, to which she is a signatory, and she moved out 10 months early. Yes. We'll be right back with Judge Joe Brown. Did you not realize new boyfriend was going to hear about your threesomes? The things you do to get somebody that you won't do to keep them. That's what he I didn't want to get keep them. Nope. I wanted them. Nope. Plaintiff in this case says he met the defendant when they hooked up as a threesome and they later became a couple. He says the defendant cheated so he kicked her out, but she returned and her jealousy led to damages. Let's take a look. You had to pay for the damages to the premises and further, and you had her arrested and charged. Yes. Is that right? Correct. And as a matter of retaliation in the big city of New York, uh, she went down to another part of court and swore out a restraining order against you, which was ex parte, so you couldn't contact her about the rent. About anything. So Not even my you child. So you are seeking $4,658, and you also allege that, amongst other things, she hasn't allowed you, allowed you to have any visitation with this child. I don't want a drug addict around my baby, Your Honor. You smoke weed, too, so Would you up. stop I that? Up my nose. Stop that. Point one, I've already I'm asked you not to do that. That's rude. Point two. It has been my experience in the four plus decades I've been doing this that when somebody starts jumping in, he's a drug addict, he smokes weed, reefer, marijuana, or something, and you start trying to besmirch somebody's character, that is almost a red flag saying, I did everything that I'm being accused exactly. of, so I'm trying to deflect attention from what I did wrong by making this other person look wrong. There goes your flag. I'll knock you out, dude. And all right. Okay. And what are you doing before he wants to get somebody knocked out. knocks he your wants. dumb He's self out and puts like you in place? He's acting his character. And don't stick your tongue out. That's crazy. Act like a man. Show, Show some girl. dignity. Right. I'm, I'm I apologize. Like a kid. Your woman over here can't control herself. You control yourself. Fair, Fair enough. Fool. It's a man thing. Fair enough. Be a man. Thank you. Now. Pass up your paperwork, if you would. Pictures, whatever you have. Thank you. May have. There you go. Okay. All right, now, you have the floor. Okay. First um, question I have, you: did you or did you not sign this original lease? Yes, I did. Now, you claim you're not responsible for the vandalism. Not at all, Your Honor. How can you say that? He's saying that we were broken up for two months. 
He was in the delivery room when I had our child together. We went together. My Hold baby, on a second. Baby. When you had a child, you haven't taken him in yet. There's no paternity order, nor is there a DNA test before the paternity order is he granted. He willfully signed the paternal acknowledgement they form. Signed My the son birth has his last name. Never once did he say to me that he didn't believe that my baby He's was He's trying ours. to do the right thing. Okay. Um, me and my son actually went back to that home at, in the Bronx. He said that. Together. Um, we were still together because he was still, we were still as a couple. We had our problems. Um, the baby ended up being sick and having to be hospitalized because for a week. Because drinking and smoking. And Stop that, that. You don't interrupt either. Whatever. He was jaundiced, Your Honor. That has nothing to do uh, that, look, with what's anything. What's that got to do with this case? Because you say it's you're not responsible fact. for the vandalism. Because let me read your answer to you that you swore to. Mm -hmm. Quote, I do not owe the plaintiff anything because I did not do any damage to his property. I did not break into his apartment as he claims. Quote, I found out that he was cheating on me with my best friend, so I moved out. That gives you a motive. Next thing, you say on the day that I entered the apartment that we shared together, quote, I was mad and I did bust up some glass. The pictures. But it's I no big the deal. The pictures of oh, he and, and I that were together. Mouth. I oh, grabbed man. me and my son's belongings and I left. There was photographs I of he and I I did bust up together. some glass, but that was it. It was no big deal. All I did was grab my belongings and my newborn son's belongings and left. As far as I'm concerned, I owe him nothing. Well, bust up some glass. What was the glass on? What, or two or three, maybe to? four picture frames? Maybe four picture frames of photographs of he and I together. Well, uh, could you explain the damage to the door? Yeah, he broke it down once he saw that I broke it. Why did he stuff. need to break it down? He's got so the key. So that he can file he, these false charges against me. He's a taxi me. driver in New York. He locked the door with the key that morning. I did not do Look that. Look at that. That is, come on, I'm going to do that. That's yeah, a big metal Yeah, you can door. do that. I did you have somebody help you? Not at there. all. He Look at that. In, they had to replace in, the bloody dog on the thing. the mess that I made in the apartment. And so that he can get, actually have something to file these false charges against me, which were dismissed. File false charges? My case, you my... confessed to doing what he accused you I of. I didn't break that door down. My criminal case was dismissed for his lack of evidence. He that didn't have up. a lack of evidence. The bottom line was, is look, if she just stops this and doesn't come around anymore, I won't continue to want you to prosecute this woman. They now pross the case. That's not a dismissal on the merits. You've confessed under oath. You did the acts. You were mad because you found what? You think he was dating your good friend. I found the pictures after I entered, already entered the apartment with my key. You I had abandoned the premises. You say because you anything. decided he was dealing with infidelities to you and you didn't want to be there anymore. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. Now, you came back in there. You claim he had you falsely arrested, but from reading the complaint and the arrest report, they had good cause to arrest you. The damage that he did to his own apartment. He I didn't, didn't do I that damage. Pictures. You did. I broke pictures. Why pictures. does he need to kick in his own bloody door? He has so a key. That, so that he can call arrested. the police and Please. have you up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Framed? How does he need to frame you when you just say, I just broke up some glass? I broke some pictures of he and what I do you because call he that? sold me you stories didn't have, did you own the of pictures? a beautiful no, marriage. No, you did it because you were angry. Together. That's malicious mischief. That's malice. That is the criminal act. We'll be back with more Judge Joe Brown in a moment. Every time he brings her back to court to go against uh, uh, child support and visitation, you know what happens? She takes time off, I go with her, and who don't show up? Him. You so, know when. He's Danny always was there. there. Your brother was there He's the last time. The last time. They wanted to have a threesome. First, three became two. We took it to the next level and became a couple. Then she two-timed him. He doesn't need to be dealing with you sleeping with somebody up in the mail room. <laughs> Bad girls you love to hate. Today on Judge Joe Brown. A couple starts as part of a threesome and ends over cheating. 
Taxi driver Ronaldo Barada is suing his ex-girlfriend for property damage and rent. Defendant Aileen Vasquez is countersuing for attorney's fees and a stolen check. Now, here's Judge Joe Brown. Mr. Barada, it would appear that you are claiming that the defendant, Ms. Vasquez, is delinquent on certain, well, rentals, is it? And also for some damage to a rental property. Ma'am, you say you don't owe the plaintiff anything, and you also say that uh, he's liable to you for having you arrested and for converting your IRS stimulus check. Mr. Brada, would you please tell me your case? Okay, I met the uh, Aileen Vasquez off of a friend when we were you used having to hang out some... in the same building. Yes. We used, to, we used to be in the same building. I never knew the defendant had a crush on me. I never knew anything about that until I met a friend uh, that I knew. And um, we used to go out, all three of us, having a good time, until one day they wanted to have a threesome with me. So I agree. Um, menage a trois. So I agree. Right, now, sit down. Nobody called you up here. <laughs> I, I, I'm... I just really don't agree with what Well, you're you don't know. You weren't there, apparently. No, no. He wasn't there. I don't even know who this guy is. He's not even involved it's with anything. It's a new boyfriend. That He's may be fiance. the father of the child that you're talking about mm -hmm. here. So we don't know. We'll get there. But like I said, um, the, other, the other female, me and her were getting a little too serious. And she didn't even want to be involved with me because she didn't want to hurt this girl. So um, she decided to move away. So um, at that time, I was by myself. You know, struggling, doing what I had to do, and she, uh, nice. Aileen and I were, were seeing each other every day. So um, we took it to the next level and became a couple. Um, then we decided to move in with each other. So when we moved in with each other, we both signed a lease that was May first of art seven. Yes. And the lease was supposed to run through April thirty first of the year current. Yes. $915 a month rent. Was that for each of you or total? Uh, it's nine fifteen total. All right. So uh, we moved in. Everything seemed to be jolly um, until uh, we moved downstairs and got a new lease. That's in the same building. In the same building. So we were, we were together and uh, everything was all right. Everything was peachy, according but... to me. Until I started to see signs of um, phone calls on, the, on bills with uh, people from her job, um, stories about her being with guys in her job, like your man from the mailroom, Ty, whatever his name is. Um, we don't even work so together. You accused her of an infidelity. About? Oh, yes, definitely. Even with a, a gentleman named Jesse in her job, I, caught, I, I found out everything. She cheated on me with him. That's not true. Okay. Um, so when I found out everything, I couldn't be with her no more. I knew it for a fact that she's just a liar and she just wanted to do what she wanted to do. Uh -huh. So, um... So then why'd you have a baby with her? Uh, it may be yours. I didn't want the we baby, man. Be quiet. Okay. Been I didn't no... want the baby. So Hold why are you on. taking me family no court now trying to say you want him? Why you uh, claim you want him me. so bad now? Uh, excuse because me. Because you don't let me well, see him. Excuse me. Because, oh, we... no, I thought he wasn't yours. We will have order in here. And, young man, if you can't restrain yourself, I'll have you removed. By the way... Since there has not been, I would strongly suggest that for this 18-month-old male child, you have a DNA test done. He knows that baby is his, you He know. doesn't know. He knows it for a he fact. He know. is full of what you, you don't even really disagree with his proposition so much I'm as to the sure running that baby around. Is his. You no, know, you, it's I've like never this. You lay down him. in a bed of st Fire. thorns and roll Ever. over. It's awful hard to say which one stuck you, you know? <laughs> Judge Joe Brown. You've given me a copy of the lease. Yes, the copy's here. Um, and now we haven't got quite there yet. Hold you. I'm going to have you pass all of that up in a minute. Now, okay, let me ask some specific questions here. Now, you say you had some difficulties with her because of her perceived infidelities. Now, at that point, you say she moved to her mother's house. Correct. Didn't want to have too much to be bothered with you. Now, there was this point where you say you two needed to meet and discuss the past due rentals and bills. Now, 
to get to the vandalism or the malicious mischief. From your complaint, sir, it would appear that you advised her that you didn't want her to come there unless you were present. Exactly, but the locks were never changed. I never threw her out. The no. locks are still the same as the, at this time as we now, speak. Now, is it or is it not a fact that she did go to that apartment when you weren't there? That's a fact. Now, how long had it been since she'd moved out? Um, it was a couple of months. Two that, weeks. Um, it was about two, two months weeks. she stood away and...